Local Enterprise Broadcasting and uh, showing you my newest acquisition. Uh, I got this neat trailer here on KSL. Uh, those of you not from the Utah or Salt Lake area, KSL is like our local Craigslist. And uh, not bad. <coughs> 200 bucks. It needs trailer lighting. Um, and uh, this, uh, this thing's clearly been jackknifed. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm right here behind my local Walmart. And uh, I'm going to show you how I like to fix a jackknife trailer. So we'll get back here in the vehicle. Alrighty, let's just keep in a. So we know it was jackknifed to the right, so we want this to go to the left. I'm gonna put it in reverse. There we go. So we're just gonna gently ease it back until it jackknifes. And once it does, I will continue backing up until said tongue is back in proper alignment. And we're getting close. Okay, we jackknifed it. Let's see how fucking straight it is, if it's straight. I might have overdid it. Or it's just right. Let's see. I don't know. <laughs> Oops. All right, let's pull it back straight again here. And we'll have a, have a gander here and see how twisted that fucker came back. Let's see. Oh, what do you know? Straight as an arrow, folks. <laughs> Honestly, that worked a lot better than I thought. So, if you have a cheap little trailer like this and it's been jackknifed, just jackknife it the other way. Probably would have been better if I had had somebody to help me, but teach their own. Yeah, so I got the trailer now. Now I can actually take the bike across state lines using the car because as much as I love the Sonoma that I'm in right now, it really doesn't have very long legs. Um, not by its fault, really. I just have kind of neglected a lot of the maintenance on it. So it's kind of been isolated to an around town go-getter. I really don't like to take it over 50, 60 miles at a time. Not that it's unreliable or anything. It's just my car gets way better gas mileage. So given that my vehicle, my other vehicle, the Kia, gets much better mileage, that's going to be my... Uh, my vehicle to transport the bike which is why i got the trailer so that's a nice light low profile trailer it actually folds up which is pretty cool so i can be stored out of the way not like it really matters for me personally because i have plenty of land to do that uh well i shouldn't say land i've got a quarter acre which is more than enough for uh <coughs> for a uh a trailer of that size i've already got a trailer and like four vehicles back there already one of these days i'll give you guys a tour um, or not because I'm selling my house and uh, I just got to get the hell out of the city I'm sure those of you who live in the country you know exactly what I'm talking about anyways uh, thanks for joining me on this uh, just neat little update on the channel I guess I got a trailer pretty cool um, like I said 200 bucks pretty good deal for a trailer eh, it holds about 2,000 pounds which is more than enough for the bike and that's it so thanks for joining me on this one uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel and check out the other content. I do do comedy, I have music, I have a podcast, I do all kinds of stuff. So not just, uh, not just motorcycle stuff and trailer stuff. <laughs> Anyways, uh, thanks guys, see ya.